Hey guys, the Fang is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Bloody Wolf for the TurboGrafx-16, which is also another arcade port, which most TurboGrafx-16 games that I've played. Yeah, this was made in 1990 by Data East, and it's actually a pretty fun game, pretty Contra-esque. Okay, which player do I want to be? I want to be the bald guy. Uh, Cody. I know a good code name. No, I don't need that. I'm gonna call him... S. Where is it? And it looks like I only got enough for like... S69! Five letters. Well, five characters. Hey, it's Bill Cosby! Your mission is to rescue the president! Who has been kidnapped by the Pudding Pop crew? I mean, the enemy. Go! You got a pretty bad throat, too. Did you see it? That was nasty looking. There we go. It's a very basic game. Just shoot at enemies. That's all. And if you're up close to an enemy, you can either use your knife or your fists. Certain hostages you gotta save too. Thank you. There are many hostages. Okay, don't worry. Usually when you save hostages, the other give you hints or some good items. It'd be a good idea to save them all. And unfortunately, you cannot go back to your default weapon until you use pretty much all the ammo in your special weapon. You gotta use the select button to pause, and the start button is to throw your grenades. I'm gonna get back on that truck and see that hostage. There we go. The key is in my pocket. You can use it. Thanks. See, by saving a hostage, I just got a key, obviously. Okay, there's some other enemies too, other than just some default green ones. Go on this door if I can't. You can't go in every building, but you can go on the motorcycles too. Jump off it, I think, by hitting the start button, which sinks grenades. But your bike also has fuel, so it's not going to be any good when you run out, of course. And not only that, your motorcycle can take damage, and when it does, well, it's going to blow up and you're going to take damage or die. What I also picked up was basically steroids. All it did was increase my maximum health bar. That's why it's a good idea to get every single item you can. Like, this is biking for dummies right here. Do not do what I do! It just makes you look bad. I'm gonna get off the bike. It's useless for dealing with these enemies right here. Nice to jump down. Which these guys are so nice enough to do. But we can pick him up, but let's just jump down to his level. <laughs> I wonder how we can go wrong! But yeah, this that game is actually pretty cool. And I just ran out of shotgun ammo. Okay, these soldiers can use grenades, gotta be careful again. Luckily, I can still shoot at them, even though they're directly above me. So much for an isometric game. There we go. Shotgun man! Are you making all that racket? Watch this. Ha! You'll make a nice target for this gun. Yeah, so this is basically the first boss, so you can call him mini boss, it's up to you. But this boss is very easy. Hey you guys, give me a hand! Well, he's pretty easy until you deal with these guys. They're shield enemies. They do shoot. But here's a special thing on how to actually take care of them easily. You can go up to them, and then stab them with your knife. They are weak against that. Keep that in mind, and you will survive without any difficulty. Okay, this time I actually do have to climb. Thank you! The presence plane crash landed 8 miles north of here. Oh, I did it now! Well, I guess we're gonna have to go! 8 miles of here. Ooh, I got a bazooka. I fuck the bike. I got a bazooka. 
Who needs a motorcycle when you got a bazooka, am I right? Not only in this game, but in real life. If I played on the prices right, and I had a choice between a gun or a bazooka, I mean, a motorcycle or a bazooka? I've been taking the fucking bazooka! And again, I'm very concerned about the Price is Right's integrity. If they actually auction a motorcycle, I mean, a bazooka, just by playing the, uh... That Yodeling game! It's like, Yodeling! Oh my god, 725, you win a weapon of mass destruction! Oh my god. Okay, here's the actual boss. The submarine, and no, not the yellow submarine from Beatles. Sorry about that, though. This boss can be a bit of a pain. You got a lot of shots to dodge. But that's not the worst part. The worst part is it submerges, and it fires depth charge torpedoes to take out some of the land. If you fall in the water, you'll lose a life. And I just ran out of the zoop. Oh, wait, I hit the wrong button. I don't think it used to be maids. I forgot Stark doesn't pause the game as it normally does, right? Okay, this may seem like a bad idea, but I'm doing it here. Because the more land that gets taken out, the harder it's going to be, it will be for me to maneuver. Luckily, there's only has two bars left. There we go! And I still can take damage. So yeah, you can still die even after you kill the boss. Stage 1 cleared! The President's Air. The President's Air. Yep. Yeah. That's pretty much the uh, closing theme for level 1. The President's Air. Whatever an Air is, I don't know. I thought when you hit the uh, button 1, you can actually fast forward the text. Nope, it just gets it all together. So, note to self when you finish a level, do not hit button 1. Okay, got some more for me. The more powerful grenades! Use your knife on the armored soldiers. Delayed reaction now. I wonder if you're Vince McMahon. Anyways. Oh, these are new enemies. Actual droids. They can shoot eight way. Let's test out these powerful grenades. I don't think the regular grenades can cut it. Yeah, knife in the back of the head. This one's a machine gun guy. Oh, and I took a hit. Without even knowing it. Thank you! Thanks for sucking my dick! You can use my fins! Thanks! Oh, fins to help me for underwater. Well, actually, they move you in water faster. Like, some shallow water will not kill you. Hey! Well... That was a surprise attack. Not good, I only got one bit of health left. There we go! <laughs> That's powerful grenades for ya. Oops, I hit the wrong button, that's save state. Just in case I run into a bad spot. Ooh, medicine! I got all my health back. The president? He was moved to the base's headquarters. You must set the president! You must set the president? No! I'm not at 69, you can do it. Who's this guy? It's too hot! I'm not going to make it! Oh, it's Flamethrower Joe, wherever this guy is. Okay, this guy's a bit of a pain in the ass. You got a very nasty flamethrower. And I think even if you jump over the plane, you still take a hit. Yeah, I was hoping you can, if you can jump over that, you don't have to worry about taking a hit, but no. You don't have that luxury in this game. Even shots you clearly jump over, will hit you. But this is where the fins will come in handy. Faster movement. So it don't seem all that fast. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it is. Just gotta be careful for surprise enemies, because you know they are gonna be there. In fact, I see feet moving on top. See it? Bet you there'll be a surprise attack. Oh, never mind. They were just right there. Good 
gives me a bit of a Guerrilla Wars feeling, or Ikari Warriors. I don't play those games because I'm bad at them. Like, really bad. So I will not be playing those games. And plus, they're SNK, so you can expect a cluster block of bullshittery. And just in the name itself. That's a shotgun in there. And I'm dead. Continue? Okay, so I'll stay tuned for the next part when I try this again. Goodbye.